Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. Recently I picked up this Lenovo laptop. It's 50 inch. The model is their IdeaPad 110-15ISK. And here's some of the specs for it. It's only got an i3 processor, 2.3 gigahertz. It's got 6 gigs of RAM. The reason I got it from Best Buy was because the other stores had it for 4 gigs of RAM. 1 terabyte drive, it's not SSD. And 110 network. It's got a built-in DVD writer, 15.6 inch HD, 4 cell battery only, and preloaded with Windows 10. Some real information. Nothing else printed on the box over here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And this was a uh, like a flash sale. So I figure I need a, another laptop. And I always just buy these less expensive laptops because I know that couple years I'm gonna change it anyway. It's a power adapter. This part doesn't fold in. This is universal and it puts at 100 to 240 volts at 1.7 amps. Outputs at 20 volts 2.25 amps. Here's a connector yeah, for it. And it's even got a velcro strap built into the cable, connected to the cable already. The power core length is about six feet. Let's see what other accessories it came with. Nothing on this side. We have safety and warning guides here. Support phone numbers. Hmm, not sure what this is. And it's actually got a first thing I know is is it's a um, it's not like a glossy finish. This is not going to track fingerprints. I'm gonna do a little There's a little close up of it. There's a little close up of the texture material on this. It's definitely plastic, but just not glossy. Alright, looking at it from the front over here, we got a SD card reader and also LED indicator lights for battery and power. Beyond to this side, we got a USB port 2.0. High speed USB, which is USB 3.0, HDMI, and network port, fan. This is the power. Nothing on the back. On this side, we got the uh, lock for Kensington locks. The DVD drive is over here. So it just has, yeah, just those two USB ports on this. On the bottom, it lists the brand, model number, also the input requirements for this. And the Windows logo is right over here. Now let's open this up. It's a USB 3, HDMI, it's got the one key recovery. There's a little discoloration on this side of here. I bought a new. I don't have a reason to think that someone's used it, but it's kind of odd that there's a little. Uh, like a stain over here. It's an Intel i3 symbol. On the top we got the microphone and the camera. And for the keyboard, it's not that springy. And we got a numeric keypad right here on the right hand side. Show some of the keys too and where it's positioned. Full size directional keys unlike some other laptops. Windows keys to the right of the function key. And some of the shortcut keys list on right up here. The battery did not come pre-charged. So once I plug in to the outlet, the LED illuminated. Let's turn it up.
Hmm. I hear a sound. I hear like something spinning repeatedly. Oh well. I thought I had problems turning on there for a sec. Okay, finally at the desktop. Uh, I think now, yeah, start to finish took more than five minutes, probably six, seven minutes for the initial load. And it says it's got a, uh, what, 54 minutes before it fully charged. I'm gonna shut the machine down and just do another boot. All right, now it's just powered off. So, let's see how long it takes to boot after the initial setup. I'm on a desktop now. Wow, so that took... I still can't launch the start button yet. Alright, now I can launch the start button. So that was like, what, two minutes? This is a very slow laptop. I thought having six gigs of RAM versus four would be better, but it's an i3 processor with a 6th gen Intel CPU. So I'll be using this for a couple of days and I'll follow up with my review over this.